Okay, fresh day. Let's get to work. Let's do what we're doing. It's freezing in here, but whatever. Be a little bit cold. That'll keep us on our edge. Let's do it. Okay, it is mucho cold. It's time to run. There's a pretty strong temptation to just take a hot shower instead of exercising when it's cold outside. I've found that that is always such a trap. <laughs> the exercise is what I really need to warm myself up. I feel like hot showers, I generally only want to take those before going to bed. Take that hot shower, you're ready for bed, you know, it's like the right flow. Hot shower in the middle of the day is just, it's not conducive to activity. Let's go run. It has been a while since I've done any ring fit. Still not at the end of the game, man. It's a long game. Okay, I forgot I sent my left Joy-Con off to get repaired. I actually have not had any problems with the Joy-Con drift. I don't think I've used the Joy-Cons enough for that to start happening, but the left one won't stay attached to the switch. It just pops off really easily. So I thought, might as well go get that fixed. In that case, I probably would have ran more. That's okay, I'll use my spare energy to do a little laundry, get back to work. All right, let's get back to work. Quick grocery break. Editing is going pretty smoothly. Man, the rough edits just keep getting longer and longer. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe there's just a lot more usable steady cam footage now. Now that we actually use a gimbal, the steady cam footage always looks good. It's not like before where we would do a steady cam shot and I'm like, well, that looks terrible. Never mind. Anyways, work progresses. We'll keep at it, but I need food right now. Okay, and now back to work. Okay, this is very exciting. This right here is from the Square Enix store. And you know if something comes from the Square Enix store, I'm pretty excited. First up, the Square Enix Music Sound Sampler CD. They normally only give these away at Tokyo Game Show, but they were giving away with any CD that you buy. I've never owned one of these before, and now they're on volume 15. Crazy. And then, Symphonic Memories. Oh, ho, ho! I didn't even know that this was the thing that happened. But there was a concert in Cologne, Germany called, one second, Symphonic Fantasies. I actually went to it with my brother. I probably have talked about this before, but this is the same concert series. They do incredible arrangements. Anyway, I didn't know that this concert had even occurred. There's an opening fanfare by Uematsu, Final Fantasy 15, Four tracks from Octopath Traveler, Final Fantasy VIII, and two tracks from Xenogears. I am in heaven. Woo! I'm gonna work for 30 more minutes here, and then I'm done for the day. So no time to listen to the music just yet, but I did sample it a little bit. It sounded great. Can't wait to listen more. So let's get back to work. No. All right, and that was a very productive day, but it is time to end the vlog. Let's roll right into tomorrow. I'll see you right now. this new mic for our Steadicam, which basically has a mic on the back and a mic on the front. Now when you edit, the problem that this causes is you have to choose which mic to use. And if during a dialogue scene, the person on this side is talking and the person on this side are both talking, you have to separate the audio onto two different tracks and then you gotta cut back and forth to them and then crossfade. It just adds a lot to the workflow. The benefit is that you get very clear sound from both people. This episode is the second time we've used this mic. 
and the extra work added to the workflow is not even close to worth the benefit that we get from the audio. The audio is like better, but to the average layperson, they wouldn't even tell the difference. They wouldn't really care because the person behind the microphone usually isn't speaking that often. So I am definitely not going to be using this mic for Adventure Archives anymore. I feel like it is very important to really be able to justify any complications to your workflow. If it's not really beneficial, adding extra onto your workflow doesn't make any sense and it makes your product take longer to get out. And lots of times it makes it worse because you might forget to do it. So anyway, it's a constant balance, you know? Otherwise, I think our workflow is very, very good. We've got it quite streamlined and refined, but that one thing, no more dual mic. All right, and now let's get back to work. Okay, the episode rough edit is complete. So I think I figured out that the reason that the rough edits have become so long is because we're using all of the gimbal footage now because it looks good, but we don't need all of it. So I think I'm gonna keep that in mind next time we film, do less gimbal shots. We don't need so many of those. It's causing the edit to take longer and it makes it a lot harder to decide what to keep and what not to keep. Gotta be much more judicious with our gimbal footage. Anyway, time for a run. A little bit later of a run than usual, but that's all right, that's all right. Let's get out there. Let's get out there and run, baby. Oh yeah. Ah. faster than I expected. I think it was mostly just this year, summer kind of really sucked, but that's all right. Looking for okay, well that was the longest run I've done in a while. 2.96 miles, 23 minutes, 19 seconds, 6.59, 8.36, 8 minutes. I had been doing one mile plus ring fit, using my run basically as a warm up and then ring fit as the main attraction. But since my Joy-Con's out for repair, I figured I'd do a real exercise. Cause it's so easy to start slacking and then wondering why you have no stamina. I will say though, you cannot do seven days a week. You need to take a few days off. So remember a little while ago, I got this thing. And the intention was to have this here. So that if you have a dirty lid or whatever, you can just put it right here instead of putting it on top of the cutting board. I just always find that our kitchen always had lids on the cutting board, so every time I wanted to use the cutting board, I had to move everything. This did not work as intended. In fact, what would usually happen is we put the cutting board on top of this, and then the lids would go on top of both. <laughs> and I'm a pretty strong believer that if you keep doing something wrong, and you're a reasonably intelligent person, and you've been able to adapt to change before, then it's probably not you that's the problem, it's something with the setup or the design. So I thought that might work as a deterrent for putting lids on top of the cutting board, but it just didn't. Now, I'm perfectly okay with putting lids right here, but for a lot of people it's just like there's a mental barrier for putting a lid directly on the counter. Especially when this is here, it feels like, oh yeah, I put it there so I don't get the counter dirty, which is, I mean, you know. So there's probably a solution somewhere. I don't know what it is yet. We'll figure it out later. For now, that was a good workout. Meditation, spiritualism, and love. So weird, back in the day, I used to be forced to not eat until it was like lunchtime at school or whatever. And I'd always just be like suffering. I'm really glad I don't have to do that anymore. I can just eat when it's time to eat. Although I will say it's probably a good thing that you couldn't eat during class because overall I feel like it's much better to only eat during meals. The snacking is just, it's usually just boredom. At least for me anyway. Okay, that will do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be writing music soon. And by soon, I mean tomorrow. Wish me luck. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.